Okay, well one thing you could do, there's a little bit of a shortcut you could take here, but if f is the derivative of g, why don't you just take the derivative of g? If you're not sure, then that might be the quickest. And then instead of saying f, we can put in the derivative of g, which is 2x minus 3. Then if you start to integrate this, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, check with power rule, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, check with power rule, and then evaluate from 1 to 3. So the shortcut was that this, you know, if you're just going to take the derivative and then you're going to turn around and integrate it, you could just have used this and had the plus 4 even because you're going to have a plus 4 and minus 4 so that would cancel out. But, all right, and then which one of these are we supposed to plug in first? Three. Okay, plug in the top one first. So this would give us 9 minus 9. Plug in 1 next. 1 minus 3. And then what do we do with these two numbers? Okay, so that's why positive 2 is the answer in the end. So you don't really need to take any shortcut there. If f is the derivative of g, take the derivative of g. It takes should take you two seconds to take that derivative. Plug it in, and then it's not all that different than um, many of the other questions. Okay, is that enough for number four? Does anyone have something else to say about that?